There is some cool new technology out there. And the best in my mind is the airplanes now that are able to land themselves. Many of you have asked the question, is it possible for a passenger to land an airplane safely if the pilot were incapacitated? The answer now is yes. Let's take a look at the new technology. They're, uh, they're about 20, about 30 miles northeast. They're on the way in now. There's two Charlie Delta Trusty Tower extend down. You're going to be number two following a uh, Baron on about three mile right base. Put down one for Charlie Delta. Charlie Delta, I won't be able to accommodate touch and goes a try. There's a test Honda jet coming in, and they, they're going to need about five minutes on the runway for uh, some equipment testing. Okay, what is this test Honda jet that's on its way into Tri Cities? Now, this guy, the controller, is clearing everybody out and saying, no, you can't do touch and goes at the airport. You're going to have to go someplace for a little bit. This Honda jet's about 30 miles out, and it's got a new Garmin technology on it that auto lands the airplane. Now, auto land is nothing new. Um, my airplane has auto land on it. Lots of airplanes have auto land on it. This is one single button that a passenger can push for an emergency incapacitation of a pilot. Normally for my auto land, I've got to mash all the buttons. I got to turn the autopilot on, I got to turn auto land, I got, to, I got to get everything right. And then I still do the radio calls as the airplane flies itself. This technology from Garmin does everything. A single push of the button by a passenger, let's say the pilot is you know, uh, incapacitated, they go back and drink their Diet Coke while the airplane does everything. It communicates with ATC about the emergency. It makes radio calls, right? You're going to hear those in a minute. And it configures the airplane, finds the best suitable airport, and lands at that airport. This is a test. Watch how well it works. Roger that. So is it just one stop the one report at all? The, the runway is essentially going to be closed in about 10 minutes once, once you land. So if you want to do a touch and go and head somewhere else, maybe that's Elizabeth or something for some more pattern work, then come back. I can accommodate that. Otherwise, uh, it'll be a full stop for about 10 minutes. For that, we'll just make it a full stop. I think we want to have time constraints for work over it Okay, copy that. Okay, now if I was this guy, instead of going someplace else and doing, you know, touch and goes, I'd want to land at this airport and actually watch this Honda jet land itself. Now, one of the things that this jet can't do is once it lands on the runway, it can't taxi off the runway. So it just comes to a full stop right on the runway, and then it sits there until a human being could come out and taxi the airplane off, or they can hook a tow bar up to it and pull it off of the runway. Close. We've got a test aircraft coming in doing some equipment checks. The runway will be closed for about 10 minutes during the way in now. Okay, all right. Approach, Honda test 2-2. Two, two. We're ready to press the button at 6,500 if you are. Okay, so that's a real human being. You're going to hear an automated voice in a minute. Now, that's the pilot. Obviously, it's on the Honda jet. He says we're at 6,500 feet. We're about to hit the button. And it is, seriously, a big red button located either on the dash or on the overhead in some airplanes where a passenger can just come up, you know, give the, lift up the guard and push the button, and then the airplane takes over. Thank you, Roger. Approved that's good. Okay, here we go. Starting the test. Test is approach, Cessna 7340 Yankee Echo is 20 miles to the west, looking for a full stop taxi dock with information in India. For Yankee Echo, squawk 0422. Squawk 0422, 7340 Yankee Echo. I'm descending maintain 10,000. You can expect a few turns on holding over Maka for uh, inbound traffic. You remember, this guy's still handling the normal traffic that's coming and going from an airport. Northeast of Kilo, Tango, Romeo, India, emergency auto land in five minutes on runway 23 at Kilo. Okay, that now is the automatic uh, landing system that is broadcasting, making a radio broadcast. And it's that, that still that computer generated kind of. Uh, voice. You can absolutely tell you're not talking to a real human being. But again, that's one of the nice safety features of this, that you know you're talking to an automated voice and the airplane now has been activated into its automatic landing mode and there's no pilot at the controls. Tango, Romeo, India. Just for Yankee Echo Radar contact, about uh, one eight miles from the southwest, the Tri-Cities Airport. Lighting 360, and it'll be uh, vectors for the sequence. We've got a, a auto land testing going on at uh, Tri Cities. There'll be a few minutes delay, and then there's like three arrivals ahead of you. So it's going to be a little bit, uh, you might want to try something else for a while. 5360. 
be aware of other traffic. Seven zero four, Yankee. Go. And just for you, a current altimeter is three zero one four. You can expect at least ten to fifteen minutes, probably, probably more like fifteen minutes of delay. He keeps kind of extending the delays here. Expect the delay. Seven zero four, Yankee. He's not sure how long it's going to be. Four flight eleven ninety seven. Reset transponder. Squawk seven one three four. Seven one three four. Four flight eleven ninety seven. Flight 1197, clear direct Maka, hold northeast of Maka, as published except maintain 7,000. Zero, Echo, S-Ray, pilot incapacitation, seven miles northeast of Kilo, Tango, Romeo, India, emergency auto land in seven minutes on runway 23 at Kilo, Tango, Romeo, India. Okay, so here's how the system works now. It, once you hit that button, it, the, the computer is searching for the nearest, most suitable runway. It calculates how much fuel you have left to make sure that you can make it on the fuel load that you have. And it does all that, all the stuff that the pilot would normally do, the computer now does itself. It calculates that, it determines where it's going to go, it sends out a broadcast saying the pilot's been incapacitated, we're headed towards Kilo Tango Romeo India Airport, and then it begins to give position reports as it gets closer to the airport over the regular radio wave. Now, I don't know how it knows when to transmit. It's certainly, there's certain points. I would think, hopefully, that the computer wouldn't transmit over another pilot trying to talk at the same time. But maybe like me, it just waits for a break in the radio communication, and then it comes with its communication on its position. You're going to hear a few more of these uh, before this airplane lands. 13, 16, descending 11 with India. Number 5513, Tricy's approach, Tricy's altimeter is 3014. You can expect uh, direct mock here momentarily and then a few turns and holding for the sequence. We've got a, uh, a, a emergency auto land test going on at Tricy's and then I've got two aircraft ahead of you. Yeah, number 5513, thanks. Okay, now this is just my observation. It, the Endeavor pilot that just keyed up the mic and talked kind of sounds like one of those automated voices. So don't don't confuse the two. The one's a real human, one's an automated voice. For Erie Shore 99, do you mind if we stay on the Holton Mountain of Veral to Maka so we can just kill a little time before we get into the hole? Erie Shore 99, that's approved. And uh, yeah, you're going to be number two to the field after this test. I got one more guy north of the field that's going to be ahead of you, and then you'll be number two. We're just going to kill some time, go slow, and we'll get there and have the holding ready. Very short, nine nine, Roger. Hopefully, this won't take too long. It looks like the uh, test aircraft is outbound on the. So again, he's still he's still clearing everybody else. So this Honda can come in and land. Way. I kind of expect it to take a little longer than that, but for now, that's what we're told. Okay, so northeast of Maka, uh, one minute on the turns, and we're heading there now. We'll see. Uh, we're heading there via the arrival for your short nine nine. Very short, nine nine, Roger. Thank you. Four two zero echo S ray pilot incapacitation eight miles northeast of Kilo Tango Romeo India emergency auto land in five minutes on runway two three at Kilo Tango Romeo India. Okay, eight miles out now. Give me another position report. Flight eleven I seven. Go ahead. Just want to confirm the hold here. We're not showing anything published on the chart for uh, Maka, so just hold northeast of it. Uh, right turn. Four flights to 1197, yes, it'll be holding northeast on the localizer, northeast of Maka, uh, so five-mile legs and uh, left turn. So one of the things that's missing in all of this is there's no instructions to the Honda jet from air traffic control, just one-way communication from the jet that is emergency landing itself to ATC with position reports as it goes. It's very similar to going into an uncontrolled airfield. If you went into an uncontrolled airfield, you would get on the common frequency that everybody was listening to for that airfield, and you would just make position reports. I'd key the mic and say, I'm at eight miles. I'm now at five miles. I'm now on short final. I'm now landing. And I would say what runway and so forth, just to let everybody else know. If anybody else is listening on that frequency, they'll know to avoid me. So everybody's got to clear out. And there's no controlling this from the ground. Now, maybe in the future, there's going to be technology where air traffic control has that same little red button and they can control an airplane and have it come down and land. Right now, it's kind of new technology. It's available through Garmin on airplanes that can handle it, all right, they can put it in, and, uh, and but it lands itself, uh, but it's one-way communication. Northeast of Maka, five-mile legs, left turns, four-foot 
Cessna 4 Yankee Echo, if you'd like to just maneuver in that vicinity, um, you don't need to stay on that heading. Just if you want to move, maneuver in that area, I've got three arrivals ahead of you, um, and then I'll be able to get you in there. Echo, S-ray, pilot incapacitation, five miles northeast of Kilo, Tango, Romeo, India, emergency auto land in two minutes on runway 23 at Kilo, Tango, Romeo, India. So it gives you the runway it's looking for. It gives you the how far it is. And it gives you the time, two minutes, and that lets everybody know, okay, we, this guy's going to be on the ground in two minutes. Force four flight eleven ninety seven. Curious on how long the delay we can expect. Four flight eleven ninety seven. Uh, you can expect about a one zero minute delay for that arrival. He's about a three mile final, and he says he needs about uh, about five to seven minutes on the ground. For that, thank you. Okay, and it also squawks an emergency code automatically. You can see on the screen it says EM in red over the Honda. Uh, that means it's an emergency aircraft. It gets priority handling, obviously. Now, you can see all the action that goes on around one of these pilot incapacitation emergency landings. This air traffic controller has to clear everybody out to make a path for this airplane to come in. I would say uh, you better have a real legit pilot incapacitation emergency if this is going to happen, if you're going to hit that button. If you're doing it just for fun and you clear everybody out, I can imagine in the future that, again, uh, unless you've been authorized for that test like these guys have been authorized, you could get yourself in a world of trouble uh, with the FAA. But having said that, it's there for a last resort. The passengers could land the airplane and you see how it works. It works pretty good. Aircraft November 420 Echo S Ray Pilot Incapacitation One Mile Northeast of Kilo Tango Romeo India Emergency Auto Land in Less Than One Minute on Runway 23 at Kilo Tango Romeo India Four Flight Eleven Ninety Seven Expect Further Clearance One Three Two Eight Time Now Is Up One Three One Eight and Three Quarters. Players 1, 3, 2, 8. Thank you, Tango, Romeo, India, traffic, aircraft November, 4, 2, 0, Echo, S-Ray, disabled on runway 2, 3. Okay, the airplane's now landed. It's on runway 2, 3, and it says Four, five, 11, it's disabled, which means it's Continue just coming to full stop. Continue holding to maintain 5,000. Continue holding to maintain 5,000. Appreciate it, Four, five, eleven. Number 5513, expect further clearance at 1333, uh, three, three. time now 1322 two, and three quarters. 513, expect further clearance 1333. Three. Honda test 22 two is behind the uh, truck. The test 22, two, trust ground, taxi to parking via Alpha, cross runway 27, Alpha, the frequency. Okay, so the test is over. The airplane's on the ground. Now the real pilot keys up the mic and says hey, everything was a success, and, and uh, ATC tells him to just taxi off the runway. So this is the wave of the future, my friends. It's already out there. It's already in airplanes. It's, it's up and running and able to work. Um, just to answer any possible objections about this, you know, could the machines at some point take over? and land themselves, well, with a push of a human button, they can now. Is this the wave of the future? It is. Is there any way that this could go wrong? Absolutely not. <laughs> now you know. I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe.